So now they're walking in. And they're off for the Betfred Bowl Chase, grade one over three miles and a furlong, 19 fences. And it's Nakara who takes on Carruthers on the run towards the first. Nakara by just over a length. Master of the Hall is anchored at the back of the field. And already a wake up call on the inside for follow the plan from Tom Doyle just to pick his ideas up as they go towards the open ditch. Fence number two, Nakara led by half a length to Carruthers with the blinkers first time on the inside in second. Hunt Ball was over in third, followed by Burton Port. And then on the inside, the orange colours of Med and Me. A little bit wider is Diamond Harry, followed by What a Friend, who's racing alongside Follow the Plan, and towards the outside is Riverside Theatre. Roberto Goldback is next, and Master of the Hall is last of the 11 as they cross over fence number three, and they're all over safely. And Carruthers now has moved through on the inside to share the lead with last year's winner, Nakara, and now it's Carruthers by a neck to Nakara racing in second place. Huntball is just in third with Med and Me on the inside, and these then being followed by Diamond Harry who's out wide between horses is Burton Port who now pushes up to get third position but they're not going a great gallop here in the early stages they're concertinering up now the first to last split is no more than six lengths as they make the run into the back straight and it's Carruthers and Matty Batchelor who've now got the lead to Nakara and Paddy Brennan racing in second then there's a line of four with Burton Port on the outside of Med and Me a little bit wider Diamond Harry and Hunt Ball and then Riverside Theatre getting close on the wide outside what a friend was next followed by Roberta Goldback, then follow the plan and master the hall as they race on now towards the second one down the back, fence number five. Carruthers on the inside of Nakara as they rise at this plain fence with Huntball jumping it in third and Diamond Harry in fourth and Riverside Theatre on the outside, Medemi to the inside of Burton Port. Then the black and yellow of Roberto Goldback who's racing at the moment just alongside What a Friend as they go over an open ditch and they all jump that one safely with at the back of the field, follow the plan who's lost a few places and still last is master of the hall on then towards fence number seven the last one in the back straight Carruthers there was out jumped by Nakara who was a little lower and quicker Riverside Theatre off the bit ridden along from that fence there by Barry Geraghty he was changing his hands a couple of times down the back straight but he got more vigorous on Riverside Theatre as they got over that fence the seventh and Riverside Theatre at the moment not traveling that well for Barry Geraghty as they make the run now down the side of the course on now towards fence number eight which will take them towards the end of their first complete circuit. Carruthers and Nakara were the first two. Hunt Ball with the red cap towards the outside of Burton Port who's got the white cap and then on the inside is Medemi. Those are the first five. Diamond Harry is racing in six and niggled along. What a friend travels well in seventh. Roberta Goldback followed by Riverside Theatre who once again is ridden out of that turn by Barry Geraghty at the moment. He's not exuding any confidence on Riverside Theatre as they go over the fence which was their first. Going over it with Master of the Horse still the back marker and follow the plan last but one but they're still tightly grouped as they go through halfway in the Betfred Bowl of 2012. Nakara on the outside of Carruthers. Those are the first two. Hunt Ball was over in third. Followed by Burton Port who's now given the hurry up by AP McCoy. He's come off the bit as Medemi travels well on the inside for Robert Thornton. Diamond Harry on the outside of Hunt Ball. Still very wide on the course is Riverside Theatre. He's running in snatches at the moment. He's off the bit once more as they come up to the wings of fence number 11. And it was Nakara last year's winner who just had the lead to Carruthers in second. Hunt Ball is travelling well for Nick Schofield in third. Burton Port is in fourth. The grey middle me on the inside rail is now in fifth. Followed by Roberta Goldback in sixth. Diamond Harry's ridden along in seventh. What a friend is in eighth. Follow the plan is in ninth. Master of the Hall and Riverside Theatre alongside his stable mate and Barry Geraghty more and more vigorous as they go beneath the Grand National start. Diamond Harry has now dropped to the tail of the field so several of the big players haven't really fired so far as Nakara and Carruthers are still the first two as they make the run down the back straight with Hunt Ball stalking in third. On the inside, Medemi is in fourth. Burton Port still being ridden along by A.P. McCoy out wide in fifth as they go over the first one down the back and Hunt Ball hit that one hard and Diamond Harry was pulled up at fence number 12. Diamond Harry is out of the race and Riverside Theatre is pulling up at the next fence number 13. Riverside Theatre is out of the race. So it is now Nakara and Carruthers. These are still the first two. Nakara hit that fence. Medemi made a mistake. With
open, closing in a share of fourth position. So they go now towards the penultimate open ditch, fence number 14 in the Betfred Bowl, and it will be Nakara who jumps it to Medemi Hunt Ball, and then Carruthers ridden, and so too is Burton Port. The blue cap, what a friend, is creeping into contention, followed then by Master the Hall, and follow the plan, and Roberta Goldback is at the back of the field as what a friend hit that fence really hard and sent the birch flying his first significant error. So four more fences to take in the Betfred Bowl, and it's last year's winner, Nakara, who still blazes a trail by a length and a half to Hunt Ball, who's poised in second. Burton Port driven on the outside. Medemi, the second of the Greys, is there on the inside. Follow the plan is now creeping into contention, followed by Wadda Friend and Carruthers as they got over the cross fence, at which slow at the back of the field was Roberto Goldback. So they begin to make the turn back towards home. Paddy Brennan and Nakara now by a length and a half to Hunt Ball and Nick Schofield in second. Follow the plan and Tom Doyle made the turn in third. Medemi and Burton Port followed next by the red and white of Master the Hall, who is creeping into contention as they take the third last. And Nakara was the leader there by just over two lengths to Hunt Ball towards the near side in second. Follow the plan still travels well on their heels back in third. Down towards the final ditch, the second from home. It will be Nakara who led by just a length. Tackled now on both wings. Follow the plan is over on the far side. Hunt Ball back in third. Burton Port is in fourth. Medemi is in fifth as they make this long run down towards the final fence. And it's Follow the Plan and Tom Doyle who now go to the lead over Nakara. Burton Port begins to rally for AP McCoy on the outside of Hunt Ball as they come down to the 19th and final fence. Follow the Plan jumps it well. He's clear by four lengths to Burton Port. Hunt Ball, Nakara and Medemi. And they've got 150 yards to go. The Betfred Bowl goes to Ireland. It is going to be Follow the Plan who wins for Oliver McKinnon and Tom Doyle. Follow the Plan beat Burton Port. Maybe you just held second over Hunt Ball and Medemi and Nakara was back in fifth. Follow the plan. Some shock here in the winner's enclosure. A muted round of applause for the 50 to 1 winner of the Betfred Bowl. Follow the plan. Well, he was third last year. It's not completely unexpected. He's a dual grade one winner. Tom Doyle riding for Oliver McKernan. And the first time cheek pieces have very much done the trick because he travelled sweetly into this.